I just wanted to show you uh, a rose here. This is Rosa Roxburgi. It's from Asia. It is a wild rose, or I've read that it is somewhat debated as to whether or not it's a wild rose or a species hybrid. But it's in the subgenus Platyrodon, which means flaky rose because the bark exfoliates, meaning that it peels off. And I can show you that here in just a second. But it's a great rose to grow. It gets about five to six feet tall and wide. Uh, I never have to spray it. And here, where it's very humid, that can be a problem with black spot. But I really never have any problems out of this rose. It blooms, uh, for me, it blooms throughout the summer somewhat. The spring, it might have the biggest flush, but really pretty much all summer. Uh, just a second, I'll show you a little bit more up close of it. This is the bloom as it begins to open. It has spines along, these are called the, these are called the sepals. It has little spines along the sepals. It has up, I've counted up to about 38, uh, 38, 13 leaflets. One, two, three. These, each individual ones here, these are called leaflets. All right. Uh, the bark, what I was talking about, it exfoliates. If you can see down in there, see how the bark sort of peels off. It does sort of look like the way a crepe myrtle does. But this is the bloom when it's fully open. It's a beautiful rose, like I said, very easy to care for, and I never really have any problems out of it at all. It's an excellent rose. I highly recommend it. All right.